Matin Valhucht, Agus Falchja, again lesson show. Good morning to you. Welcome to this lesson. Hope you're doing well this morning. Hai fur on a main. Hai gle ur on a main and you. Gle ur, gle ur. Okay, Maha. Today we're going to take a look at nan and nam. So we're going to go deeper into a phrase that if you've seen the story videos about my story of videos about the Witcher so far, that you've seen quite a bunch. We're going to look at these nans here. What's going on there? So that your Gaelic will be more accurate, you'll be able to understand more of what you read and hear, and it'll just bring your Gaelic up to the next level in terms of what, how you can express yourself, what you can share. Okay, Gleva, let's get started here. <clears throat> so, nan, and then we have a nam here. We're going to talk about nam in a moment. Nan. If you've seen the story videos, either one of them, the one about Geralt or the one about the witchers in general, <clears throat> oh, if you want to check those out, there's a link popping up at the top of your screen. Two versions, foundational, intermediate. Intermediate's more complex. So choose whichever one best suits your Gaelic, where it is at the moment. Okay, so nan, 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 and nam. Nan means of the. Of the. All right. So we saw this before. So we saw um, a shallock. Nan. Ulivishchen. Right? <clears throat> a shallock nan ulivishchen. Or shallocker nan ulivishchen. Either one here. Yeah. So shallock. Let's put shallocker here. Shalakar nan ulavishchen. Shalakar nan ulavishchen. Gleva, a shalak nan ulavishchen. All right, <clears throat> Gleva. So, a shalak, if you've seen the videos, hunting. This is the action, the action, the, the verb, right? Action. A shalak nan ulavishchen. Monsters. Mm -hmm. Gallic often likes to put the onto things, like the breakfast, the monsters, the dogs, where in English we might not put the on. So that already in itself is something to get used to, but it really pops up when you have phrases like this. <clears throat> so hunting the monsters. We want to say hunting the monsters. If we're just saying hunting monsters, we don't need none. A shalak ulavishchen. But if we're talking about hunting the monsters, in general, or perhaps in a certain area, a shalak nan ulavishchen. The nan here means of the. <clears throat> of the. Mm -hmm. Of the. And what's great about nan is after, we're, after it, you don't need to do any sort of fancy grammar, transformations, or change anything, really. You just have your plural. You have your thing here, your thing in the plural form. Monsters. That's all you do. Monsters. Hunting of the monsters. A shalak nanulavishchen. A shalak nanulavishchen. Hunting the monsters. So in English we wouldn't say of the, but in Gaelic you would. You're hunting of the monsters. That's what you're doing right now. You're at the point of hunting of the monsters. Yeah. That's why we use nan. Okay, <clears throat> coming down here, a similar example. Geralt, our friend Geralt here, is a shalakar nan ulavishchen. Hunter. So this is the thing, this is the action. Notice they're very similar. They have the same, the same root. Shalakar nan ulavishchen. Ulavishchen. Mm-hmm. Nan, again, means of the. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Gleva. Shalakar nanulavishchen. Mm-hmm. Hunter of the monsters. A monster hunter. Yeah. Gleva. Shalakar nanulavishchen. Again, after this, after nan, all we do is put in our plural noun. Done. It's really nice to use these. <laughs> if you're saying of the with things that are only are singular, only one of them, things can be complicated. And I'm going to make a video about that to clarify it a bit. But if you're talking about plurals, plurals in Gaelic, 
They're a lot more straightforward, a lot simpler. And we could use some room here. It's starting to get a little crowded. Okay. <clears throat> One more example, and then I want to share Nam with you here. So, Shalakarnan Ulavishchen. Now, so here we have a verb and plural noun that's linked with nan. Here we have two nouns, hunter of monsters, hunter of the monsters. Nan links the two. Okay? Let's do another version of this, another, um, another example. Um, let's see. Klayuan. Nan. Witcherin. Which, which, uh, there we go. <laughs> you could say non witchers too. You know, it's personal preference, really. With these, with these non Gallic words, these loan words, a lot of times people just leave them how they, how they are originally. But some folk like to put a little bit of a Gallic ending on them, which is fine too. <clears throat> so, Klayuin non witcherin. Klayuin. Swords, witcherin, witchers. Mm -hmm. The swords of the witchers, the witchers' swords. None in the middle. Klayuin nun witcherin. That flows really nicely when I say it. Klayuin nun witcherin. Flows real nice. Gallic always wants to flow. That's why there are a lot of these grammar changes that happen, a lot of sound changes. Gallic loves to just flow from word to word. Yeah, Gallic has that beautiful poetic quality to it. And it always just wants to flow. Yeah, <clears throat> it sounds beautiful to my ear. Klyuvin nanwichirin, or some dialects, Klyuvin. Klyuv, or ooh, Klyuvin nanwichirin. There's even a bit of end rhyme here, isn't there? Again, Gallic is poetic. Oh yes, oh yes. Hmm, Gleva Maha. So we have some examples here. A Shalak Nanulavishchen, Shalakar Nanulavishchen, Klayuin Nanwichiden. Excellent. <clears throat> what about Nam though? Nam is going to come up occasionally. What the heck is this Nam? It's actually just Nan. It's changed a little bit. So let's see. Pika. <clears throat> so here's an example. Tayin. Tayin. Nambalchin bika. Tayin. Houses. Houses. Balchin bika. Small towns. Balchin. <clears throat> Small towns or villages. Whichever works best for you. Nam of the Tayin Nam Balchin Bika. So maybe if you like driving around here in New England, there are a lot of nice villages, a lot of nice small towns. They're very picturesque. My hometown is like that. My hometown is like a postcard, even though it's changed a lot in the last, you know, many, many years. <laughs> <laughs> there are still some really beautiful old New England style houses. And we could talk about enjoying that kind of house. Stolium, Stolium, Tayin, Nambalchen, Beka, Aunam, Maine. I like the houses of the small towns in Maine. Yeah. In English, it might make more sense for us to say in the, right? Houses in the small towns. But in Gaelic, we could definitely use Nam here. Mm-hmm. Tayin nam balchin bika. Houses of the small towns. Now, why is this nam here? What is going on with this nam? Why isn't it nan? Well, the nam is here to smooth the sound between uh, nan and this word that starts with b. Remember, Gaelic always wants to flow. And there's going to change the sound of the end of a word sometimes to make it flow into the next one better. So what's going on here is, if you've seen uh, my video about B, F, M, and P, 
It's the exact same thing happening. Exact same thing happening. Yeah. So, <clears throat> to recap that really quick, N becomes M before B, F, M, and P. I remember someone said big fat members of parliament. <laughs> Whatever helps you remember these. This is a, a softening sound that happens before these B, F, M, and P words. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it really helps them flow. So for example, Tayin Nam Balchin Bika. Try that with me for a moment. Just this part. Nam Balchin Bika. Nam Balchin Bika. When I say it, the, the Nam and the B are already kind of in the same place. So it's like I'm already ready to say, well, it's not like I am ready to say Balchin Bika. Nam Balchin Bika. It flows real nice. Let's try with nan. So if it was, if it wasn't nam, if it was nan, nan balchen bika. Nan balchen bika. For me, my mouth is working a bit harder to say that. But if we come back to how it's supposed to be, nan balchen bika. I notice a big difference in how hard my, my tongue and my mouth has to move. Mm -hmm. Gallic wants to flow and it wants to flow because it's kind of easiest. It's less work. For, for, your, for your mouth, mm -hmm, for your tongue. That's right. So that's why we get a lot of these sound changes. Yeah, to help it flow, but also when it flows, it's less work for us to say, even if it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> okay, so we have nam before any plural that starts with B, F, M, or P. Yeah, so what's, what could we do? What's another one? Um, Oh, 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 yeah, why not? This is a fun one. So we're kind of coming out of the Witcher world here into Tayin Nambal Chinbika. Why not, yes, Rooster, why not Big Nam Fjorakan? Big Nam Fjorakan. Big. Food Nam of the Fjordakan squirrels. Squirrel food. <laughs> so if you have um, bird feeders and you know there's a lot of seeds spilled on the ground, or even if the squirrels can get to the bird feeders very easily, you could say, oh, that's all squirrel food now. It's big. Nam fjorakan. <laughs> That's one way to say it. You could say food for squirrels too. But big nam fjorakan. Squirrel food. <laughs> big nam fjorakan. Mm -hmm. Big nam fjorakan. And we have M here because fjorakan starts with an F. Right? F is one of our, our letters that wants nam before it. It wants to flow smoothly. Mm hmm. So there we have it, nan and nam. <clears throat> so when you're connecting a verb with tec technical, technical terms, a plural noun, a definite plural noun, or, you know, a plural something that's the, it's definite, so it's something specific, like hunting of the monsters, it's the monsters, then you just put nan in between them. If you have two nouns, two things, and you want to connect them, and one of them's plural, Shalaka nan ulavishchen. You use nan again. Most of the time you're going to use nan. And same thing down here. Klayuin nan witcherin. Swords of the witchers. Connecting two nouns. The one after nan is going to be plural. Tayin nam balchen bika. Houses of the small towns. M before B, F, M, and P. Up here, big nam fjorakan. Food of the squirrels. <laughs> Again, M before F, because F is part of this BFMP group. All right. Gleva, Gleva. Thanks for joining me for this video. Look forward to hearing your Gaelic and hearing how it's a bit sharper once you start using nan and nam in it. All right. Gleva, I'll see you in another video.